So we're going to do a quick short tutorial on how to change the spark plugs in this 1981 230E Mercedes-Benz. All right, because I'm bored. So first off, you need to open the bonnet. Now this is funny because you might think this is simple, but I've seen people struggle to open these bonnets. All right, so pull release is inside the passenger side. Pull that there, the bonnet pops up. Then we come around the front of the car. As you can see, I'm still lucky enough to have my uh, outside pull release, which is here. A lot of Mercedes don't have it, it's broken off, so you might find a bit of wear sticking out. But anyway, pull outwards in the direction of the arrow, and up we go. Lift. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to turn back I'm going with, I'm putting spark plugs into mine, I am going with BP5 EFS, okay, NGK, the best you can get. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old spark plugs, put in the new spark plugs. What we've got here also is, for this, we've got a 10 millimeter, all right, spark plug puller if you like, with your rubber tip on the inside. You've got your extension bar, and you've got your ratchet, okay? So I've already taken one of these plugs out. It was a Bosch plug, it was a wrong plug. Um, I'll just show you, come around here. But I'll just show you how to remove them. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Now, don't do what i done, which was a really stupid thing. Last week, I pulled the top, I was pulling the, the ignition lead off of the spark plug, and because I couldn't get it off, it was so stiff, stupidly, I pulled the cable here. Of course, bang, I disconnected and broke it. Now, I've got to put back in place, but it's gone. I have to, I've had to order a new set of uh, ignition leads. They vary in anything from 100 euros down to 49 euros, depending on what, what brand you're going for. So one I've already removed in here, you can see I just put a bit of tissue there to cover it. They do feel a little bit brittle. I think these are the original leads, but anyway, so, I'll show you. We will remove one. I, I normally just do one at a time just to be on the safe side. But uh, I'll just show you anyway here. I'll just remove one for you, okay. Let's put that in there out of the way so as I know what's what. So gently, if you like, go in, use your forefinger and your thumb, get in as, as much as you can and grip it. And give it a bit of a wiggle, okay? Give it a bit of a wiggle and she should come free. There you go, that one's out. Now that was much stiffer than that initially, that's the one that I broke, because I stupidly pulled it by the cable. So it's out, it's off. Remember I said, do them one by one if you can. Okay, then she goes, you feel her by, and then just anti-clockwise, give her a bit of an L turn, and you'll see there now she's coming out. Okay. Sometimes just a bit quicker if I just do it by hand. And now comes the old spark plug. And what we have here now is the old one. Now, these don't be fooled, we're in an awful state, okay? I done these on Saturday evening when the motor factories was closed. So what I done was I had no spark plugs to replace with. So I cleaned these up and I put them back in on Saturday evening. They were so bad. You can see here, can you see that Josh? Can you see the build up? No? Hmm. Can you see the build up on it there? That it's all black. Like it wasn't just black that it rubbed off. It was like it was like a layer of, of tar if you like or coke or whatever's on them. But they're pretty hammered. That's a Bosch R6. Bosch R6 H or 8 DC Russia. It's knackered. There's lumps gone out of the plug. And they're all like that. All of them are like that. So this is the first time I've checked the plugs since taking ownership of the car. Anyway. It's forged, forget about it, gone. One plug out. So we're taking our new plug, got them all ready to go. Remove the packaging. Okay, there we can see. A bit of a difference, I'm sure you'll agree. Can you see that, Josh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bit of a difference there. And just reverse the process there. I'm just gonna pop this one in. Okay, so. Slot her in there. 
fire her down and screw in gently because you don't want to run the treads nothing worse than uh, a plug breaking in the block um, I've never had it happen but I've watched plenty of videos where I've seen it happen and it's probably like one of my worst nightmares it's probably one of everybody's worst nightmares screw her back in plain and simple reattach the ratchet switch it round and just give it a nice snug it up get her nice and snug that's her nice and tight nice and snug don't over tighten them because again it'll snap bit of a wiggle and off comes the plug all right then take your lead push it back on until you hear a nice solid click This is the dodgy one that I have here, so. There she goes, back on. Subsequently, on Saturday evening, after I'd forgotten I'd broken this lid, I'd reattached them all and started the car up okay. <laughs> and uh, as I was checking them like this, one, two, three, this lid was disconnected and broken. I put my hand on the lid, and let me tell you, I got some whack off of it. Do not put your hand on a broken ignition. Lead. It hurts like fudge. So as you can see, that's it. Leads on, new plug is in, back in position. And that's it. I'm gonna carry on and do the other one, two, and three, and I'm done. It's a 10 minute job. And a bit of a silly thing to put on YouTube, but nonetheless, you'd be amazed many people don't have to do simple stuff like that, or just have a simple question. Anyway, that's it for me. Good luck now.